Welcome back to The Wandering Wind. I am your host, Gregory, and today I want to talk a bit about what services I use to get my daily free entertainment that I would recommend to you. Um, for a lot of us, we don't have a lot of money to be able to spend on stuff like Netflix and Hulu and Vudu and stuff like that. So being able to find a solution that works within a minimal budget usually is often the uh, best case scenario. So today I want to talk about a few of my favorites. Starting off at number one, and this is for all of you guys that like independent, independently created content, content that's new, fresh, and interesting. Of course, your number one is going to be YouTube. Um, YouTube is a content creation giant where anyone and everyone practically now in in practice this takes a bit of a step backwards but in um, concept YouTube is a great place to find just about any kind of content all for free granted there are a lot of ads especially in the sidebar underneath um, sometimes you get um, invasive ads, but it's overall a good pl platform, and you have great content from some of your favorite creators, and even some new ones if the YouTube algorithm gives you the right recommendations. Like, for example, my video, which you probably found by searching for it on the site. Um, next up, we have a music streaming site, or music streaming service, because we can't leave music out. Music is an awesome thing, and for that, my number one choice is iHeartRadio. Um, you can listen to live radio feeds from some of the biggest and most well-known networks around. I use it to listen to a lot of my local stations like K-Love and um, 99.1 um, country stations, stuff like that, basically. I love iHeartRadio. It's really useful. It's really easy to set up, and it's really easy to manage your favorite stations and listen in whenever you want. Thirdly is Crackle. Now, this is a bit of a um, strange one because most people don't think of Crackle for entertainment just because it's owned by Sony, and so the selection of movies is kind of slim. However, however... The indie titles and the um, somewhat A, mostly B movie titles you see there are actually pretty good. Um, a year ago, I watched Godzilla for the first time in ages on there, and I thought it was awesome being able to see a movie I hadn't seen in almost a decade using a free app, so that's pretty cool. And number four is going to be a somewhat replacement to your live television um, services like um, if you're not able to pay for stuff like um, Dish Network or um, AT&T or, or something like that. If you can't um, pay for that, Pluto TV is actually a great, so a great service that offers the TV experience. You have your basic channels. You have your four, uh, 10 or 12 news networks thrown in to kind of pad out the um, selection. You have a whole list of nothing but music channels, although I do like a few of them. But you have great channels like you've got Gaming Network, you've got IGN, you've got a Minecraft channel, you've got anime all day, you've got classic cartoons on three different channels, you've got sports, you've got mysteries, mystery movies, you've got crime shows, you've got drama, you've got all kinds of stuff, to be honest. You've got, and about that anime all day channel, at night they actually show some of the older stuff, like Galaxy Express 999, um, <laughs> Space Captain Harlock, which I had actually never seen 
until I started watching it on Pluto. It's awesome, and I think you would enjoy it. Um, coming up at number four, I mean number five, is Verve, V-R-V. And Verve is, um, I guess it's a uh, kind of parent, I mean sister company to um, its bigger brother, Crunchyroll. So it's got a lot of the same content as Crunchyroll. It's a um, freemium, so you get... A lot of stuff for free, but there are some premium shows, premium series that you will have to um, sell out a subscription for if you want. But a lot of the stuff that's available for free is actually pretty damn good, I think. Um, I enjoy a lot of the series that I'm able to watch on there, like um, 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 Boko, Boku no Hero or Hero Academy or something like that and Digimon and stuff like I mean I haven't watched some of these shows in years and I found them on Verve um, number six is going to be 2B TV uh, got a lot of got a, it has a lot of ads but it also has a great selection of movies TV series anime animated series, stuff like that. You're, you've got a great selection of stuff to watch. It's just a matter of being able to get the right stuff on your particular device. Um, and number seven, we're going back to um, music for a second. Um, Spotify at number seven, and that is actually a pretty good um, music service. Why it's not higher is because over the years, Spotify has been become has become a bit more motivated by um, money than it has with providing quality services even for free users. So over time, Spotify kind of fell off of my radar, but it still is a good service. And then finally, we have something for those of you that may need just something basic, and that is Yahoo View. Yahoo View is a um, TV, movie, and uh, basically anything you want streaming service that you can use with your Yahoo um, um, your Yahoo um, email account or whatever, and actually is quite quite good here on. The service I've got it running right now. And right here I can find anime series. I can find Tokyo Ghoul, Attack on Titan, My Hero Academia, Boruto, Naruto Next Generations. You've got classics like Sailor Moon, the original Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh 5Ds, the original Naruto. You've got One Punch Man. Um, also in sci-fi and fantasy, you've got stuff like Timeless, The Last Man on Earth. Oh wait, that's designated survive. Oh wait, nope, Last Man on Earth, Once Upon a Time, The Crossing. Um, you've got, I mean, you've got a lot of good stuff on Yahoo View that you can only get through the computer, you can't get through anything else, unfortunately. I would love for them to finally migrate over to, like, um, either um, anime, I mean, Android or iOS or maybe both. But at least at this point, really, there's not much that's uh, <laughs> that can be done for it. But it is still a good service for those of you that just have a computer. And a lot of the services that I've mentioned are also available on the PC as well, so you can just look them up. I will have links to Play Store and iOS Store um, um, applications as well as anything else that may be um, of use to you. I thank you for your time. I hope you have a great day. And as always, I thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!